Sheldon. That's me. That's you. Last time I checked. <laughs> so we're here in the Venetian, in your, in, in your Venetian in Las Vegas. You've got a Venetian in Macau. Yes. And you mentioned that, look, what you wanted to do is you wanted to basically build a Las Vegas in Macau. You could just pick it up if you in could. Asia. In, in Asia. In Asia, right. right. You, wanted, you just wanted to do that. You know, how come nobody else saw that? I guess that's what a visionary is made out of. No, but really. But what, I mean, people really, thought you were crazy. Of course. You know, I've been in some dozens of businesses, and every time I go into a business, everybody thinks I'm crazy. Nobody wants to recognize that doing something different than what people do routinely is viable. Nobody wants to recognize that. And the only way that I can prove it is to do it and succeed. But why do I have to convince other people? I don't have to convince anybody. Uh, uh, now we have our own money. Did you ever think that Macau was going to surpass Las Vegas oh, yeah. in the way it has? Yes. What convinced you? Well, when we first uh, uh, applied in Macau in 2002, or we applied in 2001, but at the end of the year, uh, there was two and a half billion in gross gaming income. In 20, no, in uh, 20, that was 02. By 04, when we opened the Sands, mm -hmm. the Sands Macau, the gross gaming revenue before we opened was five and a half billion. Five and a half billion. Right. In two years. Wow. It went up. So it went from two and a half to five and a half billion. It went up three billion. The business was already there. I, I think that people weren't recognizing it. And, and uh, how do I think it was going to grow? Because there was 1.3 billion Chinese. I believe that this industry in, in which we operate, in the lodging and the gaming industry. I believe that it's a supply-driven industry. Like there was once a movie called, uh, uh, I forget what it was called, Build It and They Will Come. Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. So if you, if you, if you so put, if you build if you put it, those if buildings I put there, those buildings there, they, I will will create, they will come. And they did. And they did. And they still do. And now the government has put tens of billions of dollars in infrastructure, in transportation infrastructure, to, to allow the provinces outside of Guangdong province to be in southern China, like Fujian province, mm -hmm. to be within reach, reasonable reach, of getting into uh, getting to Macau. Do you ever worry that the Chinese government's going to look at all that money pouring into this, this little enclave here called Macau? Some of that money going to Sheldon Adelson and the Beijing government's going to turn off the tap? No. That never crosses your mind? Well, it's certainly, you know, people bring it up. They say, do you think the Chinese government is going to... They don't care about Sheldon Adelson. 